Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. My name is Leslie. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, hit a like on this video. That way, I know you enjoy more videos like this. to change Bebe's diaper. Hi Bebe. Time to change your diaper. Now he is done. Then we start opening up all the windows in the house. Because so we start opening up all the we start opening up all the windows in the house so the baby knows it is daytime. And I start by opening up the kitchen window. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And by this time, Zoe lets us know that she needs to go out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put him down in his play mat and take Zoe out to use the restroom. I put on a little TV for him in the morning. So I can get a few things done like breakfast, coffee, and taking Zoe out. Disarm. Ready to arm. Open up the window. Take Zoe out now. Because I know she's dying to go outside. I feel like I haven't said good morning to you. I look a little crazy, but it's okay. It is Sunday morning. So while the baby chills and watches TV, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. Go ahead and wash my face. Wait, don't go back. super important of course is have some coffee lately I have been doing that TikTok coffee the one that's like with the foam and a few you ladies are asking me to show you how I do it and I'm gonna show you but the only thing is I don't have a hand mixer and you really need one so you can froth it up yourself by hand but it takes forever to do that so if you have a hand mixer, definitely get that. I've tried it in a blender and it did not work. So just make sure you have a hand mixer or you're gonna be mixing for a long time. To start the recipe for the coffee, you're going to need either instant coffee or instant espresso. I use instant espresso because it's our favorite. I love the Nescafe Gold. Um, I get it on Amazon. Uh, and also for the recipe, you're gonna use equal amount of coffee to sugar. And I also like to add cinnamon to mine. So then I did about four tablespoons of coffee and about three tablespoons of sugar. And you're going to just start whisking it up. Like I said, we're not gonna add that much water. It's just gonna be a very small amount of water. That's what keeps the coffee super strong. And you're going to whip it until it is into a creamy texture.
So sometimes he gets fussy and doesn't let me cook. So I end up holding him right here on this side so I can cook. Um, I'm making papas right now and I'll kind of stand this far away. He loves to watch me cook. But if I want to finish cooking like I need to, I will put him in his, um, what's it called? The walker. So I'm going to put him in. You're in the kitchen with mama. And he'll just chill here. Waiting for me to finish. Hey guys, so I just finished cooking the eggs and I'm about to start cooking the French toast, which I already have a French toast recipe on my video. I've done it before. I think it was on my uh, foot, on my maternity vlog. It was like when we went to go take pictures. Um, so I'm looking outside because my husband just took the baby outside. So like I mentioned, today is Sunday, so this morning routine is going to be a little different just because my husband is here, so he's kind of helping me. Most of the time, since if my husband's not here, I do a faster breakfast just kind of like scrambled eggs like something quick that doesn't take so much time but today i am making us like french toast or whatever but keep in mind if my husband wasn't here i just make like a simpler breakfast because the baby would be back here uh watching tv or on the andadera just kind of like walk you know being behind me and stuff and sometimes he cries and i have to stop and some mornings i don't even get to make breakfast guys because he wakes up and he wants to be fed either like breastfed or like wants food food but today he hasn't really been wanting to eat that much i think because he's teething really really bad he's kind of like lost his appetite but he's outside right now with my husband so my husband is here and he just took him outside i don't know if you guys can see can y'all see back there right there there <laughs> On a swing set, we ended up getting this swing set on offer up a few weeks, like two weeks back. And my husband like disinfected it and cleaned it. And my mother-in-law gave us a little swing that she had. So we put it out there for the baby. So they're outside. It's the cutest thing. So I'm about to start making, like I said, the French toast. And I will put the French toast recipe somewhere right here. That way if you want to know how I make it. Even though I did kind of like break it down for you guys. But just I'm going to start going faster through it because I want to show you everything else I do in the morning. for his nap usually like two two and a half hours after he wakes up he's ready to go to bed again so i'm gonna go feed him and put him down and then i'll be eating my breakfast since i just finished with breakfast so let's go ahead and do that And usually for his 
first morning nap i put him down in our bed because i noticed that he sleeps a little bit better with this nap on our bed oh it's okay it's okay so i'm gonna go ahead and feed him guys and put him down breakfast being done i always like to make extra that way i can pack it for my husband multitasking at its finest okay my son is finally sleeping today was one of those mornings where i couldn't get him to sleep guys it was kind of nerve-wracking but he's asleep now so usually around this time my kitchen is still low-key a mess i just cleaned up the breakfast area I need to do the dishes i need to fold clothes so those are all things that I need to get done today you know things that i know are like daily chores but what i always tell you guys is that before all that starts i try to do something for me and either i will clean myself up and do my makeup do my hair and then baby wakes up and then i'll be ready for the day but lately i've really been trying to get back into being a little bit more active so right now i'm just going to cleanse my skin brush my teeth um i'm going to leave my hair up in a bun like this because i'm going to put on workout clothes so let me go ahead and do that and i needed to talk to you guys about this new toner that this new toner i just got from target it's called bliss my friend cat recommended it and oh my god it's for combination skin so yesterday i wore the born this way foundation and if you've never tried that foundation it's really really beautiful it makes your skin look just stunning but if you have like combination to oily skin it kind of makes you a little oily throughout the day because it is um hydrated with like coconut oil so what I've noticed that um, usually like I would have to do a primer or whatever. Yesterday I wore the foundation for 10 hours. I did not put on a primer and I did not get oily at all. And I even wore sunscreen which usually makes me super oily. But the only thing I added into my regimen was this. I'm going to go so ahead and change my clothes into workout clothes. But the other thing I try doing every single day, every single morning, and I usually try doing it as soon as I wake up before I have my morning coffee, but I didn't do it today because my husband was still sleeping, is do my bed. I do my bed because I notice that it makes me feel like I did one thing, like one chore. So I highly recommend for you to at least try doing your bed every single morning. Trust me, it makes you feel like your room's a lot cleaner. And I just finished working out i did work up a sweat i'm really happy with the workout i did i did a full body workout i ended up doing a workout instead of stretching because the baby ended up taking a longer nap so i just did a 45 minute workout i feel really really good and i already feel better so now i'm gonna end my workout with stretching and then if i can squeeze in a shower before the baby wakes up because the mom so i just finished stretching and my little man woke up from his nap <laughs> Not in the best mood, by the way. Kind of grouchy. Um, I'm going to change his diaper. And yeah, so now I'll probably take a shower and put him in the tub, in his baby tub, like I did in my last video. That way he, I can watch him while I shower. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean up the dishes and start folding clothes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and feed him first, just because he is a little grouchy. I'm gonna go ahead and feed him some Gerber and see if that will make him feel a little bit better. <sighs> it's 
sometimes I just stand here by the window honestly feeding him because I know he probably won't eat that much and I notice he really likes being out like looking outside I'll either put his little sitting chair here or I'll hold him and since he's not feeling that good since he's been teething crying a lot I'm just gonna go ahead and hold him because I notice when I put him down he's starting to cry so tiene mamitis mmm yummy okay guys so I just took a shower and I put on sunscreen and face moisturizer I'm about to put on this eye cream from ginseng it is the refreshing eye cream so today's a little bit slower to the day just because I don't have the pressure of making dinner because my husband's home but Typically, um, at this time, I would start making dinner. I have my son right here on the walker. That way, he can just be with me in my room. And I have him entertained with some toys. And that way, I can just get ready. And now, we'll do like a quick um, makeup look. This is how my makeup came out. Super cute and simple. And like I said, my hair, I'm just keeping it natural with my natural waves. I just added some like texture spray or whatever, like soft wave spray to just enhance the waves. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the house cause it's crazy. When I clean my dishes, I always love to clean the sink after just because I want it to look super clean. And I use the real uh, little soap sponges and also the Comet cleaner. It's like a bleach cleaner. I love how it just leaves everything shiny and sparkly and I know it's disinfecting and cleaning. And no, the video pads do not leave anything scratched up or anything like that. I also use this mixture on my stove and on the, in the restroom and it works really, really good. Highly recommend this if you want a nice clean sink. So for the pink drink, you guys, we're going to be using water and this crystal light packaging that's called Wild Strawberry. It is my first time trying it. You have to mix it really well because I do notice that you can see the particles. And we're using coconut milk and it, it does have sugar in it. It's, if you use the one with sugar free, it doesn't taste right. Good. I can definitely see myself having this at home. Um, and I use the Crystal Light Wild Strawberry with the, this 10 10 recommend. I made myself a pizza quesadilla. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this in my lunch. I'm sitting right here with my baby. He's playing on the floor. I'm about to start folding the huge bucket of clothes I have while spending time with him here. We are barbecuing outside, just winding down for the day. What babe is cooking? We got some corn, some chicken, steak, Sausage and ribs. It looks like it's about done, huh? Wow, that cooked super fast. This week's post notification shout out is gonna go to Diana Garcia. Thank you so much for commenting on my last video, Diana. I really appreciate it. So sweet. I feel like my videos are super long, but I guess you guys enjoy my vlogs longer. Anyways, I'm so happy you guys are enjoying. And if you want to be shouted out on my next video, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, again, don't forget to ah, hashtag mom life. Don't forget to give me a like. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.